Rosita Jabaris Gallium. Holder, Queen's Order of Courtesy. Smoop. <laughs> what does that mean? Sun, Moon, and Perseus, the honors of Carolingia. Thank you. Lady Rossi, we asked a question of you earlier this day. Have you prepared an answer? Yes, I have. Your Majesty, I am most honored and I gratefully accept this honor. Very well. Very good answer. Is there a member of the Order of Chivalry that will speak to this candidate? My lead, sir, is. There are several that would have claimed this right. You will find them in a pile out there. <laughs> <laughs> when first I was asked to speak to the Rossi, I was dumbfounded at the honor that was given me. And then I said, yes, I will speak to the chivalry in this manner. Chivalry to Laurel. It is a very confusing relationship, and one not often or often enough addressed. And this revelation came to me while I was contemplating <coughs> what words I would offer here. I had the pleasure of working for several years with Rosin Director. And I thought about what I heard from her most during those years repetitively, in no particular order. I didn't break it, I swear. <laughs> no, really, how are you? That's in a world. How can I help? How can we fix this? Can I show you how to do this? These are the most common things that I've heard from Rosie. And I'm thinking about these. These are also the most common things that I heard from my night when I was in school. The relationship is direct. It is simple. It is there. We help, we teach, we serve, we protect, and we live by our heart. There's no question that this is how Rosie lives her life. The chivalry speak thus. She is of here, the land of the known world. Thank you, Your Thank you, Your Honor. Is there a member of the Order of the Rose who would speak to this candidate? Your Majesty, I bring the words of Countess Marguerite on this matter. First, she would tell you a story. Rosie flew out to Australia War the year that Edward and I were on the throne in order to retain for us. I was new at this royalty business, but Rosie was an old hand at escorting newbies around and was not ruffled by the fact that the newbie in question was the Princess of the East. <laughs> Rosie agreed to accompany me as a lady in waiting when I decided to go out shopping to buy a sword for rapier combat. I had no idea what I was looking for and no idea how to explain it, but I felt like I needed. I was totally intimidated and it must have showed. I also didn't know the first thing about swords. When I thought I saw one that was good, Rosie would make a tiny little shake of her head and let me know it wasn't to let that one go. We must have picked up 50 different blades. Too heavy, ugly, not period correct. What is this thing, a hatchet? No, no. not even if I were a ninja. I walked away from the last sword dealer when I heard Rosie's voice call out to me, Your Highness! <laughs> I turned around 
standing, <coughs> standing in the middle of the road, legs planted as if she were braced for impact, with one hand thrust skyward, Rosie held aloft a green, gleaming streak of steel and silver, as if it were Excalibur recovered from the lake by her own hand. <laughs> My huge sword. I think the sun even came up from behind a cloud at that same time. <laughs> <laughs> burst into song behind her. <laughs> Rosie brings enthusiasm and patience to every one of her endeavors, whether she is teaching the next generation of young fencers, casting pewter, documenting 1500s colors of a state, or autographing hoplas. She is kind and welcoming to everyone who meets her. She is careful in her language and generous in her spirit. In thought and in deed, she strives to make this great game a better place for everyone. This, Your Majesty, is courtesy. So is giving up the most perfect sword ever to the princess. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the least of the reasons why I would commend her to Your Majesties. She is my peer. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican that would speak to this candidate? I have that happy duty. I am Meredith Segrain of Kelswood, and I would speak to the service of this fine lady. <coughs> I have known Rossi since her earliest days in the SCA. I have seen her active in archery, fencing, theater, and many other arts. She has not only participated in these activities herself, but she has also helped many other people to get involved in them, whether by becoming a marshal, running an event, hosting a practice, lending equipment, or teaching. Rosie is also one of those rare people who can both collaborate with others or provide enthusiastic <laughs> leadership to make good things happen. The FCA thrives because people give of their time and talent, and Rosie is a superb example of this kind of generosity. I will be honored to have Rosie stand beside me in the Order of the Laurel. She is a peer, and I highly recommend her to you all. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel who would speak this candidate? I, Joan Glock, claim that honor. It is my privilege also to have known Rosie from her earliest days in the society. And when I once held great lands inherited from my ancestor, she became one of my most faithful servants. Her valor, her service, and her courtesy have been attested. It is now my role to speak of her creativity, her craft, and her passion for learning. I had the opportunity to tell her earlier today that the secret to the laurel is in fact that now you are going to promise to be a beginner for the rest of your life. <laughs> you will seek to learn always, to encourage others in sparking that flame of creativity and desire and passion to learn both in the depth of the craft that you practice and in the breadth of all there is to be known. But I have undoubted and absolute faith that this will happen and will continue to be the case I consider her in every way a peer of this realm, and I recommend her to you and to this order. Thank you. Thank you. Having heard the counsel of the peers of our realm, we do agree. We would ask, is there a medallion for this candidate? Yes, sir. Yes, You may find this familiar, as it was out at 12th or? Party Champions. Party Champions. <laughs> <laughs> I Is there a quote? Here is your Majesty. Is there something to be said? Master <laughs> McGuire made that. We have heard and seen much of your work like that. Thank you, Mr. McGuire. Is there a cow?
creation of beauty from the dross of ignoble earth, bringing to this earthly sphere a reflection of the transcendent glories of heaven, is indeed much to be praised. And for as much as our subject, Jandro Rosina Gibaras Gallia, has demonstrated this skill in the fullness of measures, to the great delight of our eyes and hearts, and to the greater glory of our realm. Therefore, of our especial grace, certain science, and mere motion, we, Edward, Rex, and Thura, Regina, by these presents for us, our heirs and successors, do endow the said genre with the order of the laurel and all appurtenances thereof. And further, we do give and grant to our trusty and well-beloved genre the right to bear arms by letters patent with all liberties, powers, and privileges appertaining thereto. In witness thereof, we have caused these our letters to be made and strengthened with the character of our signatures at the Barony of Dragonship Haven. <laughs> Illumination by Baroness Katharina Volkova. Calligraphy by Mistress Kaylee McWhite. Words by Mistress Alice McIntosh. <laughs> <laughs> your service. By my words today, and by your grace, my actions in the years to come, I pledge to be loyal, faithful, and true. What advice I might have to give shall be honestly, and I hope humbly given. I swear to uphold your laws in all I do, and work to love you and your kingdom to the best of my ability. And I, Edward. And I, Thurin for the strength and conviction of those words. We know the value of that advice and the size of your heart. We are grateful. And for our part, you have the protection of the crown. I to ask. And our aid, whatever you should do. So say I, Edward. And I, Thurr. We're Mr. Sandra, newest member of the Order of the Laurel. Vivas! 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 We ask the two of you, rise and greet your order. <laughs> 